He has three four-letter words that are key, L-O-V-E, T-E-A-M, and W-O-R-K. Those are kind of like the mottos of the team. Without all three of them, you can be a good team, but you won't be a great team. But with love, everyone's happy to be here. Everyone's excited to be here. And with hard work, everyone wants to put in the same amount of work. Everyone's trying just as hard. And with teamwork and bonding as a team, it's a fun experience. He's a genuine person who's really out to help kids. And I think that's the best trait you can have. I'm trying to teach them that life is not always perfect, that you do have downfalls, but it matters how you get up after you've had your downfalls. Basketball is a good parallel to that, where you might do some things well one day and not well the next day, but you don't dwell on the things you don't do well, you find ways to correct it, but you always know there's a brighter day ahead. One thing I like about playing for Coach Smith is just that he's a good person. He doesn't just care about you and your relationship to basketball. He cares about you as a person. He wants you to do well in school. He wants to make sure your family's okay. And it's just one thing that has been different from all my other coaches. My other coaches, they don't ask you every single day, how do you feel, how are you doing, how's your mom? But uh, Coach Mick is a guarantee that he'll really care about you and what's going on in your life. We paint these green dots on all our basketball shoes. They're a way to remember to stay composed during games. So if we're frustrated or you know, we're missing a bunch of shots or you're getting fouled and it's not being called, we can touch the green dot and it reminds us to stay composed, to stay concentrated. That's one of the things that he's taught us. When I was a student, um, I struggled academically here. I really just wanted to play sports. That was, that was kind of my thing. I just wanted to do that. That's where my identity was. And maybe midway through my junior year, he pulled me into his office. He sat me down, he looked me in the eyes, and he told me his life story. And he told me his experiences and how important it was for me to get it together in the classroom. He told me that I was more than just an athlete. I was more than just a player to him. At that time, it was such a huge thing for me to have somebody at the school come to me and say, you're more than just this and I will support you 100% regardless of what you're doing on the field or in the classroom. I'm your guy. And, um, and at that moment, it just made me believe in myself that much more. All right, so let's get our hands up here. The best direction, Paul. Best place to be at. Big moment. morning we dreamed so long. Anybody ever wonder when they would see the thunder? Just remember when you come to the show. Anybody ever wonder when they would see